whatever comes from God is impossible for men to turn back. God does not suffer presumption in anyone but himself. The saddest aspect of life is that there is no one on earth whose happiness is such that he once sometimes wish he were dead rather than alive. Great deeds are usually wrought at great risks. The most hateful human misfortune is for a wise man to have no influence. Men's fortunes are on a wheel which in its turning suffers not the same man to prosper forever. Let there be nothing untried, for nothing happens by itself, but men obtain all things by trying. Force has no place where there is need of skill. I know that human happiness never remains long in the same place. Adversity has the effect of drawing out strength and qualities of a man that would have laid dormant in its absence. The most hateful grief of all human griefs is to have knowledge of a truth, but no power over the event. It is clear that not in one thing alone, but in many ways equality and freedom of speech are a good thing. A multitude of rulers is not a good thing. Let there be one ruler, one king. It is better to be envied than pitied. If one is sufficiently lavish with time, everything possible happens. I shall therefore discourse equally of both convinced that human happiness never continues long in one stay. Happiness is not fame or riches or heroic virtues, but a state that will inspire posterity to think in reflecting upon our life that it was a life they would wish to live. It is the God's custom to bring low all things of surpassing greatness. Humans and prosperity never endure side by side for long. When a woman removes her garment, she also removes the respect that is hers. The secret of success is that it is not the absence of failure, but the absence of envy. A knowledge may give weight, but accomplishments give luster, and many more people see than way. One should always look to the end of everything, how it will finally come out. For the God has shown blessedness to many only to overturn them utterly in the end. In soft regions are born soft men. It is better by noble boldness to run the risk of being subject to half the evils we anticipate than to remain in cowardly listlessness for fear of what might happen. Now stop your dancing. You wouldn't come out and dance when I played to you. The most hateful grief of all human griefs is this to have knowledge of the truth but no power over the event. A hastening of any undertaking beget terror from which great losses are one to come. Men's fortunes are on a wheel which in its turning suffers not the same men to prosper forever. When life is so burdensome, death has become a sought-after refuge. For as the body grows old, so the wits grow old and become blind towards all things alike. It's impossible for someone who is human to have all good things together, just as there is no single country able to provide all good things for itself. The only good is knowledge, and the only evil is ignorance. To think well and to consent to obey someone giving good advice are the same thing. And this strikes men when they are exposed to change. Very few things happen at the right time and the rest do not happen at all. The conscientious historian will correct these defects. Where wisdom is called for force is of little use. All of life is action and passion, and not to be involved in the actions and passions of your time is to risk having not really lived at all. Haste in every business brings failures. But this I know, if all mankind were to take their troubles to market with the idea of exchanging them, anyone seeing what his neighbor's troubles were like would be glad to go home with his own. 
There is nothing more foolish, nothing more given to outrage than a useless mob. 